My name is Simon. I was born in Bhutan, but my heritage is Nepali. My great grandfather resettled in Bhutan and met and married my great grandmother there. They raised their children and grandchildren on a big piece of land with a lot of animals and fields. When I was five years old, ethnic conflict between the Nepalese people and the Bhutanese government escalated. The Bhutanese government forced Nepali people to go back to Nepal, even people who were born in Bhutan like me. I still remember my mother cries and we were in a truck as a passenger. We left our animal, we left our land, we left everything there, house. We were very scared for our life. Around 90,000 people become refugee. I still remember for six months, we lived in a jungle with not plenty of foods, not good waters to drink and no shelter. Thousands of children and refugee people died because of the malnutrition by natural disaster. Our situation was like God is leading Israel out of Egypt. He provided food, shelter and education in the wilderness. The only thing we did not have is hope. We faced many persecutions when my mother became a Christian. The community who are predominantly Buddhist and Hindu, they around us. We could not enter even our old relative's house. We spent around 18 years in a refugee camp. I grew up there. I met my wife. I married there. I had a son over there. But our future was very uncertain. By the grace of God, the God started to open many new doors for us and for the refugee people to settle in different parts of the world. Through we faced many challenges. It takes around two to three years to process my application to come over Australia. And I faced many discriminations. When I did an interview with uh, one of the case worker, I told them I want to go to Australia and want to study a Bible and study theology. It's very hard to process my applications for a six month Finally, I went to international organization for migration and told them about discriminations, what I am facing. Like a miracle, Australia accepted us. Within a month and a half, my wife and I, with my son, we arrived in a Cairns airport. Everything is different here. The people, the culture, the food, it was difficult to settle but we had a help from the local church we get help from migration office we get help from other volunteers we are connected with other Nepalese family who came before than us after a few years the Bhutanese uh, people start coming to Cairns it's around thousand people and it was a big opportunity for me to do a fellowship with my community. At first, a small group started from my home. Then we grew very quickly. More people wanted to know about God. We need a space big enough for our growing congregations. It takes a long time and we spend a lot of time on prayer and fasting. One day, I was driving and I saw the Salvation Army building. I drove past it, but the spirit inside me said, stop there and turn back and go around to that building. A few weeks later, I met with Major Ben Johnson, the corps officer at Keynes. He opened the doors to our com uh, community and said the space is open for everyone who wants to worship God. Now, our Nepali Bhutanese congregations every Saturday 
from 9 a.m. We do the service at Salvation Army in Cairns, and we pray that they fulfill our part for the kingdom of God. Today, my family are settled very happily in Cairns. I'm very thankful for the life He has given to us, and we are very blessed to call the Salvation Army as my home.